Hi, this is Liz from ReviewHarbor.net. Now, we all have duplicate files. You have them, I have them, everybody has them. And you can try to delete them manually, but what you get is basically files with the same name that could not be duplicates, and then you delete them, and then, well, what do you do then? Use a file recovery software? Not good. Plus, you can miss duplicates. So your best bet is to use a duplicate finder. I found a really good one. It's called Easy Duplicate Finder, and it's available for PC and Mac. I'm on a Mac, but I also use the PC version on my Windows computer. This software is really, really easy to use. It supports drag and drop. It has lots of different scan modes, and it's quick. And the most important bit is that it's very accurate. Okay, so let's check out the scan modes. File search, email mode, contacts, music, iTunes, if you ha iPhoto if you have it, iTunes, photos, Google Drive scan, folder comparison, and Dropbox scan. You'll use file search most of the time. Now let me show you how it works. I hate drag and drop, so I'm going to add some folders the traditional way. Let's see now. Okay, select these. Open. There we go. And press the start scan button. Shouldn't take long. There we go. Well, it found two duplicates, scanned quite a bit of files. You can remove all the duplicates in one click. You can save the scan for future use. Or you can click on the big green button and go fix them. Let's do that. Here are the two duplicates. Let's preview them. <laughs> That's me with my thumb. Okay, close the preview. What's that? That's a text file. Let's preview that too. There we go. So you can preview any files. Anything you like. Okay, you can simply delete them. Or you can click on Match Duplicates to move them to a folder. Or another drive. To replace the files with a symbolic link. Now that's a really nice feature that other duplicate finders don't have. Basically you replace the duplicate with a link. To the original file. So you avoid the mess on your computer and you save space. Okay, you can also rename and delete. Let's delete, move to trash, that's it. There we go. Files are deleted. And if you've deleted something by accident, you can easily put it back. Just click on the undo icon. Um, the thing is that it will recover all the files, so you have to delete again. But that's all right. There we go. Files are recovered. Put back. Now let's go back to step one and delete all these folders because I want to show you how the folder comparison mode works. Now that's a really good one because sometimes you want to compare files in a in a folder against files in another folder where you know that a driver or folder has the originals and another file or folder has the duplicates. And that's when you use folder comparison. Let's add the source folder so the other folders will, will be compared against it. Let's find something. Okay, there we go. Now let's add the target folders. That's where Easy Duplicate Finder will look for duplicates. So, like I said, the files in the first folder, in the source folder, they won't be touched. But, files in these folders, if there are any duplicates, they will be marked as duplicates, so there can be, there can be no mistake. And that's really handy when you have external hard drives and you want to compare files on your computer against files on your external media. Works very well for me. The rest is simple. 
Just wait for the scan to finish. Again, it shouldn't take long. You can always stop the scan if you want to. Okay, there we go. Quite a, quite a lot of duplicates. And I can save 2 gigs of space, let's see. Yeah, they're all pictures, so they take up a lot of space. You can preview them. There. Preview this one, just to show you how it works. There we go, that's one of mine. It's something I found on the web for inspiration. Okay, that's a PDF. Right, well that's pretty much it. You, delete, you can delete the duplicates exactly the same way as uh, when using the other modes. And now let me show you the preferences. Here are the different algorithms that you can use for finding duplicates. The first one, the checksum plus file size, is very quick and accurate and that's what you use most of the time. And byte by byte comparison is my favorite because it compares files by content so there can be no mistake whatsoever. But, well, the rest of the modes, their names speak for themselves. I hope you enjoyed this review. Feel free to download the duplicate finder. And visit my website for more reviews. And have a great day.